In our previous lesson, I showed you how to use the count, count a, and count blank functions. Those functions are used to count the number of cells containing specific data. Count would count the number of cells containing numbers. Count a would count the number of cells containing anything in it, whether it's text or numbers. And count blank would count the number of empty cells in a specific range. In this lesson, I'll show you how to use the count if and count if s functions. These functions are used to count cells containing data based on specific conditions. The count if function you can only apply one criteria, where the count if s function can apply multiple criteria at the same time. I've purposely created this column here. So we've got a little table here with bicycle sales that we've done in the month of November. There's dates here and color of bicycle and country where these bicycles were sold. So this is the quantity sold, but I put it here so that you can see why the count functions would not work to give you the quantity that you've sold. I'll explain as we carry on through the lesson. So let's start with the count if function. So what we'll do, we'll count the number of cells in this range here that contains the word red. So that is basically all this function would do for us. You give it the criteria and it counts cells matching that criteria. So to apply this function, we'll say equals count if, open your brackets, the range that you want to count in would be this range here, semicolon, the criteria we are looking for, the word red in apostrophes like that. Close your bracket, hit return, and it shows you that there are three cells in this range with the word red in it. So that would be one, two, three. Let's do the same on the column next to it. We'll say equals count if range. Just simply click on the first one, drag it down to the last one, release your mouse button. Criteria, we are looking for Canada. Close our brackets. And there are four cells, one, two, three, four, that contain the word Canada in it. Now the count if function cannot search for two criteria at once. So we will use the count if s function to apply multiple criteria. To do that we'll say equals count if s, open our bracket. So it's asking us for criteria range 1. So let's just use this as our criteria range 1. We'll look for blue first. And what is the criteria? We are looking for blue. So, so far it's exactly the same as the count if function, but we can now just put a semicolon and then add a second criteria. So our second criteria range would be the countries, semicolon, and we're looking for USA. And that is it, we've only got two criteria here. You can carry on with quite a number of criteria depending on what you want to use this function for. Close our brackets and hit return or enter. So it would find blue and USA. So there's only, oh, sorry, there's two. The kind of formula actually shows two. So it would be those two. So it's blue and USA, blue and USA. And as you can see, there's no other criteria that has blue and USA in the same line. Now Australia after the 15th of November. So how many cells would contain Australia after the 15th of November? So let's see how we will apply this function. We'll say equals count if s, open your brackets, Range 1, we'll use this range here, and we'll say Australia, so the function will start looking for Australia. Once it found all the Australias, 
one, two, three, four of them, it would apply the next criteria. So criteria range two would be our dates. And what is our condition here? We want it to be after the 15th of November. So in order to do that, we'll use the greater as formula. We also put it in apostrophes like this. So we'll say greater than 15 November 22. Close the apostrophes, close our brackets, and hit return. And it shows us that after the 15th, so it excludes all of those after the 15th, there are two Australias in this criteria range. And there you have it, one, two. Now, we cannot use the count function to add values together. So say we want to now find out how many bicycles we've sold. The count or count if or any count function does not perform that function. The function of count functions is to count cells, individual cells, not to count numbers inside a cell together. We, we use the sum function for that. And I will explain a bit more about the sum, sum if and sum if s functions in the next lesson. But I will just show you quickly if we were to use the count function to count all those up, it would give us 12. Basically, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cells that contains numbers in it. It would give us the exact same answer for count a function and I will also now show you how you can use the count if function to perform the same function as the count blank so let's remove a couple of data from the cells there as you can see now the count has gone to to eight so what we will do is we will now use the count, I'm going to do the count blank function first. So we'll say equals count blank. We've already done this in the previous lesson, but I want to show you how you can use the count if function to use to perform the same calculation. So let's do it with count if. Count if our range and what is our criteria that we want it to do. We want to say there is no data. So to say no data, we simply put two apostrophes to say that there is no data. No, apologies, I wasn't supposed to put a space between them. Just two apostrophes next to each other. And it does the exact same thing. So count blank function can also be replaced with the count if function. That is why it's a bit more powerful than the count blank function. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next lesson where we will explore the sum functions to actually add values together.